What's up y'all, B-Dub is back. Today another anime DVD Blu-ray release comparison video where I talk about the various releases that the anime series, property, whatever you want to call it, had over the years and compare them, you know, as far as, you know, uh, what's cool, what's not cool, and what's bad quality, what's good quality as far as the release schedule. Well, product. Anyway, intro start. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub. So the anime title for today is Initial D Seasons 1 through 4 or also known as Stages 1 through 4 for the Initial D release. Now there's a very interesting thing about Initial D's R1 region releases for the DVDs. Now, Initial D was originally licensed by Tokyo Pop back in 2003 when they originally were dubbing Initial D. It was kind of a crazy, kind of semi edited dub, not like truly edited as far as content, but edited as far as like name changes and some music changes and etc. So you could say there was some kind of four kids action going on with the Tokyo Pop dub version of Initial D seasons one and season two. That was back in 2003, 2004, and I'm going to be going over, you know, the various releases for Initial D. Now, Initial D was originally released by Tokyo Pop in 2003, uh, from 2003 to 2004, in eight single DVDs. Uh, here's DVD 1, Akina's Downhill Specialist. And here are various photos of DVDs 1 through 8 of Season 1, I believe, of Initial D. And then later in 2005, they released DVDs 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 of uh, the rest of Initial D Season 1. The rest of Initial D Season 2, containing Initial D Seasons 1 and Season 2, spread out across 13 DVDs from uh, Tokyo Pop. Then the Tokyo Pop DVDs, you know, was released... And a box set called Initial D Box Set 1, released in 2004, containing the first five singles from the Initial D releases. And that was it as far as the Initial D DVD box sets, as far as like, you know, having the whole Initial D saga or season on a box set as far as Tokyo Pop releases. Then the Tokyo Pop DVDs went out of print and Funimation picked up the rights in 2007 to release Initial D Season 1 and Season 2, aka Stage 1 and Stage 2, on DVD. Complete DVD season box sets containing Season 1 and Season 2 with the original Tokyo Pop dub. Then a few years later, let's fast forward a few years later in 2009, Funimation announced it had picked up the rights to Initial D Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4, Stages 1, 2, 3, and 4. But the interesting thing was that they had decided to redub the entire series from the beginning, uh, from Seasons 1 to 4, and they were going to be keeping the original Japanese music uh, on the Initial D releases as well, because in the Tokyo Pop version, they did not have the original uh, music tracks. There were some changes here and there. Like I mentioned before, name changes and music changes in the original Tokyo Pop dub. Funimation's dub was uncut and remained faithful to the original Japanese version. Uh, the first Funimation box set for Initial D Stage 1 was released in 2010. Here is the uh, picture of that, Part 1, and we have Part 2 of Initial D Stage 1. Then in 2011, Funimation released a save edition for Initial D First Stage. Uh, containing the complete series, the complete 26 episodes for Initial D Season 1 containing the original, containing the redub, the Funimation redub of Initial D, the uncut redub. So for Initial D Second Stage, Funimation released a Initial D Second Stage release in 2011 containing all the uh, 13 episodes of the uh, Second Stage for Initial D. Then later on, they released Initial D Second Stage uh, plus OVA Extra Stage and Third Stage uh, Save Edition containing the second stage, which is Season 2, Third Stage, which is the film, the movie, and the OVA Extra Stage on a Save Edition. Now, the third stage for Initial D was just a feature film that Funimation uh, released. Here's a picture of that and a picture of the second and third stage, extra stage OVA versions as, as well. I'm just gonna show you that again. Containing the Funimation dub versions for the second stage, third stage, and OVA extra stage. 
Then Funimation released the initial D4 stage uh, part one DVD box set and part two DVD box set in 2010. And that's pretty much where Funimation kind of stopped dubbing and picking up initial D uh, seasons and such. We also have a fourth stage complete collection save edition as well that Funimation put out. Here's a picture of that. And like I said, that's pretty much where the uh, series ended as far as dubbing. Sentai Filmworks just picked up recently the uh, Initial D Awakening movie, so they're going to be dubbing those. I heard that most of the Funimation cast came back for that as far as the dub version of that. So I guess Sentai is trying to keep some slight dub consistency since the uh, you know Tokyo Pop version is all, no longer available. Who cares about that version because it was an edited mess. But anyway... As far as the video quality for these releases, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. And this would be, uh, it's video quality as far as these DVDs is pretty, um, I guess you can say standard. I know the original Japanese masters are not in good shape and you can kind of tell when you watch the episodes on DVD and on streaming websites like Funimation Now and etc. It just doesn't look that great. It looks like they have like very old composite VHS masters. And they slapped them on a DVD, you know, they're shaking footage and etc. And the initial D releases for, for at least, I believe, season one, or stage one or stage two, did get a Blu-ray release. But I believe the season one release is upscaled, unfortunately. So the video quality, if Funimation were to put out a Blu-ray for season one, is going to be not that great because it's a, you know, a digital upscale. Which is a shame because I would have really liked to see initial D remastered in HD. Uh, the proper way with the proper HD, you know, restoration, but, um, restoration, but Hey, what can you do? You know, but yeah, as far as these releases, you know, if you want to pick up a new D, the best version to have is the save distance because you'll save money. And uh, if you're curious about the old Tokyo pop dub, you're going to have to track down those old Tokyo pop DVDs. I don't think they're worth anything in my personal opinion. So that's pretty much it as far as this comparison. Um, like I said, uh, the DVD quality is okay, but you're going to have to just, just kind of just deal with it until maybe, maybe a better release will come. I know when they're remastering the scenes as far as the car scenes, because the car scenes have like very early 90s, mid 90s CGI, and it looks really awful as far as today's standards. So I know remastering that with the cell animated footage as far as season one, I know that can be a bit difficult. That's probably why season one was upscale but anyway i'm digressing so what version of initial d do you own um the original tokyo pop singles the funimation versions let me know in the comment section below and uh, maybe one day sentai can pick up uh, the rest of the initial d movies and also maybe the fifth stage and the final stage you know who knows check out my facebook fan page leave a like and follow me on twitter i'm b dub the anime master peace B.D. the anime One master Here we go, the anime master Dragon Ball Z, the anime master Here we go, the anime master